Why don't you just take off your long sleeve? There's an idea. All right, you want to get on camera, bud? Don't put it on camera. Yeah, face it to him, Luca. Dude, I gotta. Autumn, get off my stool. I'm not editing the head thing. No. <laughs> we'll shave your head. All right, so let's see. Hi. Can you see? Me? Oh. Perfect. Where's the step stool? Here, we're gonna put it closer to you. Where's the step stool? You um, it's I don't know where it went. You took it. What'd you do with it? Why don't you get move your stool a little bit closer? Dylan, stop messing around. Get off the stool for a second. There you go. Right there. No, no. It's get up. Stand up. There. Okay, don't mess around. <laughs> my sister is not shaving my head. If you don't think it's tall enough, you can use a chair. Mom, don't let her shave my head. Just a couple swipes, I said. No, don't let her shave my head. No. I am shaving. Let's try it. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Good to go. All right, everybody, good afternoon. We are live from the Blarney Stone Pub in downtown Norwich for a little bit different, but still important 2021 Norwich St. Baldrick's. Uh, thank you for joining us. First time ever, we are broadcasting uh, on Facebook and also YouTube on our St. Baldrick's channel. A little bit different this year because of the pandemic. It actually was exactly a year ago that uh, Things started to change a few days before our event last year. Some of the restrictions started to go in place in terms of uh, number of people that could gather and things like that. So last year, our event was the same weekend, but it was closed to the public. We just had people come in and shave with uh, close family or friends. And then we uh, ended up right after that kind of going into a complete shutdown as a as a state and eventually as a country and stuff so a little bit different this year we had hoped to have a live event obviously some of the restrictions are in place but uh we're doing it a little bit we're doing it virtually this year and and potentially something that we you know may do in the future at least to uh broadcast it live for anybody who can't attend so we can increase our audience uh for those who don't know me, I am uh, A. Wesley Jones. I am the co-event organizer for Norwich St. Baldrick's. Been the event organizer now for about seven years. This actually will be my uh, last year. I'm going to hand it off to uh, to somebody else uh, for next year's event. And uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But uh, So this is going to be a little bit of a mix. We have a lot of people who are joining us via Zoom. Uh, they some of them have already been shaved this morning and they're gonna join us to, to show us their heads. Some are gonna get shaved right on camera. We have a couple people who are uh, had videos that were submitted and some of our committee members, myself and a few others that are shavies are uh, gonna get shaved right here on, uh, on stage with us. So just quite a mix, we're gonna move through the event and see how it goes. Again, it's kind of new to us, but uh, should be a lot of fun. So thank you for joining us. Along the, along the screen, you can see the website to uh, 
for our St. Baldrick's page. If you're inclined to uh, donate to the cause, please, uh, you can uh, type that link in. We'll take in any donations today or over the next few weeks that go towards the event. Right now online, we have over $28,000. Um, our goal is 30,000. I can tell you that we will meet our goal. We have some other money, which we'll talk about uh, as we go through the day, but we are absolutely going to meet our $30,000 goal this year, which was uh, quite amazing because, you know, we had no idea what to expect since uh, we were doing this virtually. Uh, joining me also today is uh, Brian Burton. He's going to kind of be the MC. I'll jump in and help him throughout the day as we uh, kind of maneuver through our shavies as, as they get shaved. Uh, but first, what I'm gonna start with is actually a video. Uh, this gentleman, his name is uh, Christopher Barros. He's a, this year, a 10 year shavy of St. Baldrick's. Christopher uh, comes from over in Tompkins County and actually found our event several years ago and started attending. He, uh, is very committed to the cause for very personal reasons, uh, which you will see. And I'm leading off, we're leading off the event with Chris's video because it's uh, very important to, to understand uh, what we do and, and why we do it. So uh, we'll play that video now. This is uh, our Shavy Christopher Varos, a 10 year Shavy and now a Knight Commander with uh, Norwich St. Baldrick's. Okay, hi everybody, I'm Christopher, and we're doing St. Baldrick's virtual, so sorry we couldn't see you all, but um, we know you're there in spirit. Um, you can start shaving anytime, kid. Gotcha. <laughs> Famous last words. Uh, so, so, this is my 10th year of doing this, and uh, something I wanted to share with you guys that I hadn't shared before. Um, Wes and I had talked about it a few years ago, but um, my daughter didn't know, um, and we didn't know how she would take it, um, because my wife and I had, had lost a child a year before Lillian was born. Um, and the reason I do St. Baldrick's is um, March 17th, 1993, um, my son was four and a half. And he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, T-cell type. And, uh, and he lost his fight. He was six. And uh, he was a beautiful boy. Um, beautiful. Um, just as beautiful as his sister behind me. So I learned of St. Baldrick's, and um, I heard the story how it started, um, and it resonated, and a couple of drunks got drunk, shaved their head just for the sake of fun. Um, not that I would ever do something like that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so I do this every year, I've been doing it for, like I said, this is the 10th year of doing this, and I do it in memory of my son Joshua. Um, my niece was in Norwich was several years ago and her and Lillian shaved their heads together. Um, Ashley was a survivor of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, T-cell type. And uh, so it was the first time she had shaved her head with my daughter and myself. And, and uh, so I want to keep the tradition going. And, I'm honored to be a part of a group that is willing to take time um, to do something for the children to help raise my uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, T-cell type. And uh, so it was the first time she had shaved her head with my daughter and myself. And, and uh, so I want to keep the tradition going. And I'm honored to be a part of a group that is willing to take time um, to do something for the children to help raise money and 
the awareness of what St. Baldrick's is and childhood cancer and, and help those that um, can't always help mm -hmm. themselves. So, so it's an honor to be with you folks, even though we're virtual. You know, our hope and prayer is that, you know, we get through this thing and there's a, there's a cure for this. And as a result of doing the St. Baldrick's, uh, maybe we can find a cure for childhood cancer. And uh, so thank you, to, thank you to you all for everything that you've done. Um, all the arrangements, all the, the videos and, and raising the money and, and informing people and just bringing people together. And I think that's the most important thing is um, together we can fight a whole lot stronger. But never give up the fight. Never give up. So, um, sign language. I love you all. And uh, thank you. So. All right. Well, welcome back to the St. Baldrick's live and virtual event. Uh, who's ready to St. Baldrick's for 2021? All right, well, I see there's already been a lot of money raised, but there's plenty more out there to raise. Uh, goals are just a setting. Uh, I would love to see the $30,000 goal exceeded by the end of the day. It's never too late to start giving. Uh, so please open up your, oddly enough this year, your PayPal's, your Venmo's, go out to the St. Baldrick events and hit donate. And, uh, you know, let's, let's make this a huge success, uh, so that year after year, we can continue to help, uh, raise money to find a cure and find help with programs to, uh, deal with childhood cancer. So let's get started today. Um, thank you everybody, uh, who has, put in the time and effort to get this off the ground. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, it must be really light out there for MCs that you chose me of all people, but uh, hopefully I won't disappoint you today. Uh, we do have to thank a couple of people right off the get go. NYCM, who is the hero sponsor of this event, uh, has jumped on board and, and become a huge partner of the St. Baldrick's event here in Norwich. Uh, it's in its 17th year. Um, so thank you very much, NYCM. Secondly, the St. Baldrick's event has come back home. This is where it all started 17 years ago. And for the first two years, it was held here in the pub. And in, the pub's been gracious enough to welcome St. Baldrick's back this year. And just want to say a huge shout out and thank you uh, to the, the pub and their staff and everything they've done to make this a reality. So thank you. All right, so let's get on to what we're really here for and it's not to listen to me talk. We have two virtual uh, head shavers uh, that, that got their head shaved this morning. And, and I believe that was at Teasers. Um, we have, we're gonna start the day off uh, with Abigail and Lisa Bennett. Um, they both shaved their head this morning and I'll wait till they pop on screen and got some questions for you. Hi. Hi. How are you? What made you shave your head for St. Baldrick's? Why'd you want to get involved in this? Because, because you thought it'd be cool to have no hair, right? So did you shave your heads in memory of somebody or to support somebody? Um, what do your um, shirts say? Um, I shaved my head for kids with cancer. Oh, that's great. How, do you know how much money you raised? Over 7,000. 700. Oh, 700. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much. Wow. Do you have a before picture? Is that what I saw on that iPad? 
<laughs> you ladies look great. Oh my God, that's a lot of hair. Is your head cold? No? Well, fortunately, the sun's out today. Make sure you have a nice hat to keep in your pocket. You can't see me right now, but I don't have a lot of hair either. And without a hat, my head would be cold most of the time. Well, Abigail and Lisa, I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done in helping raise money to fight childhood cancer and being a big part of this. Uh, you look great. Keep up the good work. You're learning great lessons as, as young kids that you can carry into adulthood. Uh, giving back is a wonderful thing. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm still on. <laughs> All right. Uh, it looks like our next head shaver uh, will also be virtual. Um, and it looks like he's part of Team Bruce. Uh, Going to be Dylan Ostrander. And Lily Hupfeisch. I might have screwed that up, and I apologize. And Bruce Zimmer, and he's the team captain. I don't know. So let's see if we can get them pulled up and get some shaving. Hi. Hey, there you are. Are you guys Hi. all ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, somebody's armed back there. Ready Bye, to Mom. go. All right, ready? <laughs> yeah. All right, so is this your first time shaving your head? No. No? Where's the, oh, did you already do the volume? Here. Okay, whenever you're ready to begin. What am I doing? Oh my. She does strip, that's enough now. No. 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 <laughs> is that your sister shaving your head? Yes, and I don't like it. Head back. Head back. <laughs> I don't want to close shaving it. I there want you go. my mom All to. right. She's got the hang yeah. of it. <laughs> okay. Wait, no. Dylan. Right. Dylan, don't do that. I'm not ready. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done. Mom. You got to go like this. No. Okay. Come on. I'll do it. I'll do it. Ready? How <laughs> long have you been shaving your head for? Dylan. <laughs> this is the second year, right? Uh-huh. Second year? <laughs> Great. <laughs> she looks like she's having too much fun doing that. All right, let me finish now. Okay. Good job, Autumn. <laughs> Over here. All right. Ready? I don't think it counts if you leave it like that. I think you got to get the rest off there. All right. There we go. Look at that. Mom's a pro. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Watch him. Dylan, do you know how much money you've raised? Um, 464. 464. Awesome. Thank you so much. And are you shaving your head memory or to honor anyone specific? No, just to, for kids cancer. What are you doing this for? Good. Just for kids with cancer. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Bill, come on. Boy, it's coming off quick now. What are you going to do with all that hair? I don't know. Give it to your grandfather. Give it, <laughs> give it to my grandfather because he's bald. Oh, is grandpa already bald? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it to my sister. Put it down. Yeah, your sister's no, having a little too much fun <laughs> shaving your head, Dylan. <laughs> I'm itchy. So You'll be fine in a minute. Wow. There's Lily. Do you have a do you have a oh. hat to wear the rest of the day? No. <laughs> He's no. Be outside. Oh God. All right. Well, it's gonna get a little colder tomorrow, so make sure you find one. We don't want you catching cold. <laughs> oh. Switch to a different microphone or speaker. Is she at someone's house? Mom. Oh, they can hear us. Oh my goodness! All right, right folks out there in virtual land, don't forget it's never too late to give. Uh, oh my goodness! Feel free to give to a specific individual's campaign. Uh, again, this is Dylan. 
Uh, he's raising money as part of Team oh, Bruce. Um, the more we raise, the more we can help, folks. It's, oh, my goodness. Isn't it doesn't work zero, without yes, participation. Okay. So. All right, so our speaker is on. No one says that that's on. on. Yeah. Okay, it's on. Yeah. Okay, Looks like we're getting real close to uh, being done there, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good enough, and then we'll clean it up after. Okay. You started with a lot of hair. Does that feel good? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, okay short. Thumbs up. Dylan, come here for just a second. Okay, look, could you wait just a second? That woman looks familiar. All right, well, it looks like Dylan, Dylan is uh, beat feet. Dylan, they look. Oh my God, that's a lot of hair. Stop it. Well, it takes very That's good awesome. Well, thank you so much. We are not uh, appreciate here. everything you've done for St. Paul. <laughs> Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. 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 Bye, Dylan. Thank you. Are we signing off? No. You gotta. Can you sit up here so I can clean it up? And do you know how to take it off, you? I want to see. No, 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 Ramsey. This is right there. Us. No, they can hear us. Yeah, just click on it. But we can't hear them. My audio. So, is your volume down? All right, that was Dylan, everybody. Let's have a big round of applause for Dylan. He lost a lot of hair there. And it looks like his uh, sister was having a heck of a lot of fun shaving his head. Uh, I know mine would have when I was younger. All right. All right, so our next shavee will be Lily, also part of Team Bruce. And it, it, I've been told that, that Bruce is their bus driver, uh, and they're, they're helping him as part of his team. So let's get Lily up there. Hi. Hey, Lily. Lily. <laughs> Are you all ready for this? We're ready. You ready? All right. Yeah. Is this your first time? No, nope. second year. Second year. Oh, thanks so much for coming back. And do you I have my adventure in my room. Can I just... Let me see. Do you know how much money you raised this year? How much money did you Uh... I don't know. 577. 577. Wow. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Are, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. We go. So Lily hasn't Rip cut her hair up. since last year. Go. So it's quite long. Three, two, Look at all that. one. That's yeah, long. Lily. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that, Ramsey. Reverse Mohawk. Watch your ghost. Oh, no. Oh, I hear somebody yelling reverse Mohawk. What do you think of that? <laughs> really? Reverse Mohawk? I see the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Mullets are back in. Yeah. Lily, are you raising money for somebody specific today or just because you want to give back? Uh, right. to keep on this one. I can hear him. Looks like you're almost about halfway there. How's it feel? <laughs> Are you having fun yet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. Okay. We're getting there. Is your head getting cold yet? Yes, no, maybe so. <laughs> All right, as the rest of Lily's hair comes off there, I want to remind our viewers on live studio that uh, you can continue to give throughout the day. Uh, feel free to support any one of our head shavers or a team today. We're looking to get to that $30,000 goal and then, then some. Oh my God, that's a lot of hair. <laughs> Do you have to sweep after you're done or is somebody else going to pick it up for you? My vote, somebody else picks it up since she was so brave to shave her head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Honey, just wait. We'll clean it up after. I know. I have a lot of hair. <laughs> Right. So your head tilt. Not turn, just tilt. Right. So for those of you listening uh, and watching live online. Uh, that can't necessarily see everybody here in the pub today. It's it's funny the in, the entire board for St. Baldrick's is is all got their heads down staring at their phones. So even though they're here, they're still doing it virtually. And and I hope that's because they're all looking at their phones to convince people to give more money. It's all about the Benjamins, folks. All about the Benjamins. Huh? Well, we don't want to get a turn. You get a turn. Do you want a turn? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, somebody else wants to take a turn. I'm guessing that guy was in the service. He's just going after it. <laughs> oh, now I see. He's got the same haircut. It's almost all gone, Lily. It feels so weird. <laughs> I bet it's a lot more comfortable. It is. But yeah. It's not yeah. I, I, and you know what? You, you could sleep a little later before you go off to school because you don't have to spend all that extra time washing your hair now. Mm. 
Almost. <laughs> That's a great picture. Give the camera a big wave. All right, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> all right well thank you very much lily you look great thank you again for your support of st paul's all right look forward to seeing you again next year lily start growing that hair now all right yeah <laughs> awesome all right, so that was Lily. Big Next pile up, of hail. We are going to have Bruce Zimmer, team captain of Team Bruce. So let's get uh, let's get Bruce up there. Hey, Bruce, how are you? How you doing, Bruce? Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. How about now? Can you hear me now, Bruce? All right, great. Well, Bruce, thank you so much for joining us today. You've got an awesome team. We've already gotten two heads shaved. Now it looks like we're going to get one more, right? All right. Perfect, Bruce. How many years have you been shaving your head for St. Baldrick's? Is this your first year? It's your third year. Awesome. All right, well, great. Bruce, if you're ready, we're ready. And it looks like you got a couple of really anxious people behind you that want to make sure that head of hair gets gone. Four years. All right, awesome. Well, thank you very much, Bruce. We, continue, we appreciate your continued support. And uh, let the shaving begin. Bye, Grandma. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. You can tell Bruce is enjoying this. He's leaning into the razor. <laughs> it's almost like you can't get it off fast enough for Bruce. Again, while they work away on Bruce's hair, which from the looks of it could take some time, I uh, want to remind everybody again that uh, NYCM is our hero sponsor for this event. Uh, without, without a good sponsorship and collaboration, none of these events happen. That's any charity event. So again, would like to thank NYCM for their continued support. And very good. And again, our home for the day, which is the pub in downtown Norwich. Uh, they are uh, serving food these days as well. And I hear the food is excellent. So make sure you stop down and get something good to eat from the pub whenever you can. And again, thank you to them for allowing us to be here. I, 
my favorite part so far is Bruce hasn't stopped smiling since they started shaving his head here. See, it just, there he goes again. Look at that smile. So I got to apologize, Bruce. We can't really hear your audio. Every once in a while, I'll hear a sound or two. Um, so hopefully I haven't offended you, but <laughs> it's a little audio issue. But the sound's not important. What's important is what you, you're, you're doing to help raise money uh, to kick, kick butt on childhood cancer at the St. Baldrick's event. So appreciate that. Oh, everybody's getting a turn. <laughs> Had to bend down so she could reach. <laughs> How's it feeling, Bruce? Little lighter. All right. I'm getting a report that Bruce may also be shaving his beard today. Is that, is that true, Bruce? Give me a thumbs up if that's the case as well. Yep, there it is. Bruce is definitely shaving off the beard. I think Bruce likes this because he's going to look about 25 years younger when he's all done today. Ladies, you're doing a wonderful job. That was, that's a big job you got there. There we go, Bruce, giving us a nice side view. It's got lots of help.
Uh oh, putting a rubber band in Bruce's beard. Gonna be a quick snip and then a shave, maybe, huh? <laughs> Looking good there, Bruce. All right, well, while Bruce is getting his head shaved, uh, how about we bring up uh, Deb Davini, treasurer for St. Baldrick's, and we can find out why she got involved originally. Hi, Deb, thank you so much for everything you do for St. Baldrick's. When did you get involved and why did you get involved? This is my 14th year being involved, and I got involved. Yeah, let's hear it for Deb, 14 years. I got involved because Pete got involved. He started shaving a year before I got involved and it's just such a great organization and does such great things. So how could you not be part of it? So it's a family affair for you, huh, Deb? Yes, yes. Okay, great. Have you ever shaved your head? I have not, no. Well, let me be the first to tell you, if you decide to do it next year, the first $100 is on me, Deb. Uh, I would love to see it. Well, I'll think about it. Pete, Pete's already setting up a campaign. You okay with that? Uh, we'll have to see about that. <laughs> Deb, thank you so much for, for the time and effort you put in to help St. Baldrick's and to keep the finances straight. Yeah. Uh, we thank Pete for getting you involved yeah. uh, from the get-go and uh, appreciate it. I know it's a family affair for yeah. you guys and, and you, you believe in this wholeheartedly. Uh, so thank you for everything you've done uh, and we'll continue to do in the yeah. future, I hope. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day here. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right, looks like less and less hair all the time on Bruce there. I think I see some ears. I do, look at that. <laughs> My ears are out too, fine. Doing a little cleanup work here. Is that that's Bruce shaving his own head at this point? Look at that. <laughs> Well, if there's any barbers out there looking for a fill-in, man, looks like Bruce is pretty good at this. Uh-oh, and now they've started the beard. Oh, that looked like that hurt. <laughs> There we go. Well, the hair's definitely starting to come off that beard Wait. now. While Bruce is working away with that, uh, just want to remind everybody that uh, St. Baldrick's of Norwich started back in 2005. Um, at the time, it was one of only 50 events in the country. Um, so they were on board with the first 50 events in the country. To put that in perspective, today, there are over 12,000 events. Great job, way to get on board early. So, you know, I'd like to say trends start in Norwich and they reach the far reaches of our country. So thank you for starting that. 
17 years ago. This is the 17th event. Um, like I said, it, it, at this point in time, St. Baldrick's nationwide has shaved over 500,000 heads. Uh, that's a lot of razors. I, I'm sure Norelco is very happy about that. Um, and all the scissor companies out there. So not only is it good raising money for charity, but it's, it's also good business. Bruce, you look like an entirely different human being at this point. <laughs> it, it, it's amazing. And you still got the smile on your face, even all that pulling and tugging with the beard. <laughs> it's great. Not only is this an event for, for a great cause, but it's also a fun event. Uh, some people get to take some chances uh, that they may not otherwise take. Uh, I can tell you as somebody that has very little hair, uh, the first time I shaved it off so that it didn't look like I have a massive receding hairline, it was very scary. Um, I don't regret it one bit, but I can tell you that it could be a scary venture to uh, decide to shave your head for the first time. Mine was by accident. <laughs> That's what happens when you forget to put the blade back on a trimmer. Bruce is taking back over. Looks like we're in the home stretch. Just remember, Bruce, you shaved your hair and your beard tonight, so when you wake up in the morning, that guy staring back in the mirror at you is you. Wow, <laughs> it's a total transformation. You look so different. All right, Bruce is coming down to the home stretch here. It looks like he's uh, putting the finishing touches on himself while the young ladies behind him still work on some spots that maybe he can't see. Looking good. So as Bruce finishes up here, just once again want to say thank you so much to Bruce and Team Bruce, which included... Dylan Ostrander and Lily Huptfleisch. I'm so sorry, Lily. <laughs> I, I probably destroyed your last name, but we appreciate everything you've done. Team Bruce, thank you so much uh, for raising money. Let's give a big round of applause to Team Bruce and Bruce Zimmer. My mom said I was brand new. I'd also like to make an announcement that at this point in time, Team Bruce raised $4,278.89. Way to go, Team Bruce!
All right. Well, thanks again to Team Bruce. Uh, we're going to move on to the next shaver at this point. Uh, also, another virtual shaver. And if I'm reading this correctly, it is Jacob Fosco. And this is his third year shaving. So let's see if we could get Jacob up there on the screen. Jacob, Jacob, if you could just raise your hand so that we can pull you into the virtual. All right, at this point, we can't seem to find Jacob. Uh, not sure if he's not logged on at the point, this moment, but we'll try to come back to him in a minute. We're going to move right to Rob Touts. Uh, he's also a virtual shavee, and this is the seventh year that Rob's been involved in shaving his head for St. Baldrick's. So let's see if we can get Rob on the line. Yeah, I'm here. All right, there we go. We got Rob. Rob, did I say your name correctly? Yes, you did. All right, well, I probably won't do it again, so don't hold that against me. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Is this your this your seventh year? Yes, it is. All right, so you're you're an old pro at this. How much money did you raise this year, Rob? Uh, two hundred and sixty-eight. Great. Thank you so much for your 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 participation and contribution. Is there any specific reason why you do this, or other than other than just being a good guy? Just for the kids. For the kids. That's yeah. right, man. That's that's the best reason out there, right? Yes, it is. So, how long did you grow your hair before today? Oh, it's probably been a couple months since I had a since I had a haircut. Okay. So you've probably been dying for this day for, for a couple of weeks at least then, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looking good. Boy, who's your hair cutter back there? It's my wife. It's your wife. She, she's good at this. She ain't wasted no time. Yeah. It's almost like she hates your hair, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <laughs> What, Rob, you're definitely going to be the record for fastest head shave to this point today. Oh, look at that. Grabs your head, turns it to the She knows what she's doing. Did your wife help you raise money? Yes. Yeah. No? Good. I got a suggestion. Why don't you have her raise her own next year and cut her hair? Yeah, no. <laughs> Look at that, even cleaning up the ears. I, I see a little hand behind you. Who's that? Oh, that's my youngest, Ethan. Very cool. Well, hello there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, look at that head of hair. That could raise a lot of money for the future. What do you think? You want to do this someday? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, it looks like we got another future head shaver in the family there, folks. 
Done. All right, Rob. I don't see any hair left on that head. How's it feel? Good. Those are good. Awesome. Well, hey, it's going to be cold out tomorrow. Dig that hat back out of the closet. You might need it. Thank you yeah. so much for everything you've done uh, for St. Baldrick's over the years. And we look forward to your continued support. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's hear it for Rob. All right. So we're back live. Uh, at the pub and we've got one more virtual shaver before we get into a uh, a live shaving so at this point i would like to introduce jeanette moore uh she's this is her third year shaving her head uh and we will join her virtually as well hello hello oh there you are jeanette i I'm getting ready to shave my head. All right. And do you know how much money you raised today, Jeanette? Uh, I, a little over 200, I think. I haven't looked again today. Great. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your continued support year after year. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Okay. Are, where are you getting your head shaved? Uh, we're in Chittenango right now. My friend Karen Walters, who's going to be on in a little bit, uh, we're shaving each other's heads. Ah, oh, that's incredible. That's it's a real team effort. And yeah, good sports there. All right, let me know when you're ready. Okay, we're ready. I think she's got her clippers. All right, we go. Let's shave it off. Yeah. Can you keep popping in and out? But... Yeah, that's the problem with the virtual background. Turn it off if you need to. You can talk if you want. So I just wanted to say that the reason I, I decided to shave again this year was I lost an uncle to cancer just a little while ago, and I've lost three other family members to cancer. And Well, Jeanette, we're, we're real sorry for your loss, and, uh, you know, if, if that's what motivates you to do that, uh, we really, truly do appreciate it. Um, it's a lot of loss in a family to, to one disease, and we're sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah. But with people like you continuing to do their part, someday hopefully we won't have to hear those stories, right? Right, exactly. That's why I keep telling people if they find a, a cure for childhood cancer, it's only another step further than finding a cure for all cancer. So absolutely kids, because I know what it's like to lose a family member. Sorry. You're fine. That's I'm sure it's not easy. Well, that's coming off pretty easy, Jeanette. Yeah, it usually does. Brand new clippers. What? Yeah, we got brand new clippers just for this. Oh, brand new clippers just for this. All right. So we should be able to get a, a we, we could probably pencil you in for a few more years, right? Because those Oh, yeah. New. <laughs> I used to only do it every now and again, but I, I'm going to start doing it all the time now. Great. Thank my you friend so Karen, who will be on, support. my friend Karen, who will be on shortly, has been doing it every year for what? Eight years. Eight years. Yep. Yep, she's got a couple of people and then she'll be on as well. Yep. All right, for those of you while you're watching, while you're watching Jeanette get her head shaved, I want to remind you it's never too late to start giving. Find somebody St. Baldrick's giving site. Please, please, please. You, the, we can never raise too much money. Never. Looking to eclipse that $30,000 goal today, but that's just a goal. Goals are meant to be broken, right? So let's get beyond that $30,000. And uh, Jeanette's doing her part, and you can do your part from home by hitting the donate button uh, on any one of your favorite head shavies. Uh, 
donation page. Boy, you're almost done already, Jeanette. How's that feel? Good? It feels wonderful. I've been waiting for this all week. <laughs> awesome. You got your hat ready for tomorrow, right? It's going to get cold again. I don't want to get I'm going to make myself one tonight. Ah, perfect. I crochet, so I'll be all set. Very nice. How are we doing? I can see the tops and sides. They look done. How's that back coming? Almost done. Can I get you? No, I couldn't hear him. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, when the clippers are in my ear, I can't hear. <laughs> I, I wholeheartedly understand. It's almost done, I think. Feels good. I say it looks done. How's the back? How's the back coming? Pretty good. Here, I'll turn around. Oh, oh it is all gone. Jeanette, great job. Thank you so much for your continued support of the St. Baldrick's event here in Norwich. Uh, we'll see you back in a little bit, right? Because now you get to shave ahead. Is I that the way it goes? Her, yep. All Bye. right. Well, we'll see you in a little bit. Yep. And thank you very much for everything you do for St. Baldrick's. No worries. Is this camera good? All right, we're back live, and we've got our first live shaver today. I, I, honestly, I, I was talking to Jeanette, the last virtual shaver, and, and Zach was pushing his way up here. And he was knocking people down to get into this chair to get all this hair off the top of his head. Uh, so our next shaver and St. Baldrick's volunteer is... Zach Wentworth. Are you ready, Zach? Ready. All right, here we go. Zach, who's that cut making the first cut? This is my daughter, Riley. Riley. Oh, that's a huge smile on her face, Zach. I think this is her way of getting back at you. What do you think? How many times have you shaved your head for St. Baldrick? I think this is my eighth year. Eighth year. Eight years. Let's hear it for Zach on eight years. And is there any specific reason you shave your head for St. Paul's? Or do you do it just to give back? I, I do it just to give back. I don't have any particular reason uh, why I started doing this, but uh, uh, I think it's a great cause and I enjoy helping out and being a part of the team here. Awesome. Glad to hear that. See, Zach's just a good guy, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with a few good guys in this world. Well, you're on uh, you're on the internet, which is worldwide. Any anybody you want to say hi to, or anything you want to say? <laughs> I'll say hi to my folks, all my family back home, uh, all my buddies uh, out at the Bull Thistle Brewing in Sherburn that are going to see me later tonight. So uh, we're looking to have a good time. Nice. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your Saturday there, Zach. It sounds like you got a nice one planned. I think you should leave it the way it is. Yeah, it's a, it's a good look. Uh, for those of you that can't see, let's see if I can get this camera over here just a little bit. No, it looks like I'm out of line. Uh, but eh, it's basically like she put a bowl around Zach's head and cut around it at this point. Yeah, it, definitely Tupperware. So again, while Zach's getting shaved, uh, I'd like to thank our, our hero sponsor, NYCM. Uh, again, without, without sponsors like that and people uh, helping out with these events and helping advertise and getting the word out there and getting their entire companies on board with things like this, uh, it, it, it really makes a tremendous difference, especially in our smaller communities. And uh, I can tell you, NYCM's always been a community partner. So thank you to them again for everything they've done to, to help with this St. Baldrick's event. Zach's got just a little bit left. Yeah, he's down to just bangs. 
which I, I don't want to say anything, but the faster the hair comes off, the less of it you generally have and the thinner it is. Um, does that worry you at all, Zach? Uh, I'm okay. It usually grows back pretty fast, but okay. Uh, uh, no, no fears of this never growing back. Not, not yet. After eight years, it grows back. I guess the first time it doesn't, I'm going to be scared. So, okay. I told you mine was accidental, right? <laughs> yeah, it never grows back eventually, Zach. <laughs> So again, if you want to donate, it's not too late to donate. Please find somebody's donation page. If you have a, a, a favorite uh, Shavy that you want to support, um, we'll be taking money all day, folks. Uh, we're happy to take it. Um, again, you can't raise too much money when it comes to fighting uh, cancer, whether it's childhood cancer, adult cancer, it doesn't matter. Cancer's cancer. Uh, you just can't do enough. Uh, this fight will never end. Um, you know, I know the focus today is childhood cancer, uh, but I'm sure we've all been affected one way or another. Uh, and every dollar raised here goes back into that fight, uh, not only for a cure, but also to make life better um, for children that, that have this horrible disease. So thank you for your continued support. And it looks like we're in the home stretch for Zach. We don't want to leave any long hairs. He already said he's going out tonight. I know. Yeah, got to make him pretty. So how's it feel, Zach? Do you feel a little lighter? I do. The haircut's not going to make me any prettier, though. Well, <laughs> we knew that. I was just trying to be nice because you're being a good guy. All right. So after Zach gets, we're going to finish up here with Zach, and then we're going to take uh, just a short break. Thank you, Zach. Let's hear it for Zach, our first live shaver today. All right, we'll be back in just a moment, folks.
he's the first kid I remember uh, getting involved in shaving their head for St. Baldrick's. Um, and, and I don't know if he was officially the first one to do it, uh, but I remember the, the first time he was going around trying to get money and get people to donate. Um, he's been doing it a long time. How long you been doing this, Tyler? 12 years. 12 years. And, and how old are you, 13? Uh, 17. Oh, 17. All right. So the vast majority of Tyler's life, he's been participating in St. Baldrick's. And uh, is, there, is there any special reason you, you, you got involved to start with? It's fun. Uh, not really much of a reason. Just It was fun. Good cause. Good. Good. Yeah. So I, I can tell you that his parents have, have raised him correctly and got him given back to his community and people right off the get-go. And uh, he even considers it fun, which is great. And he's getting ready to uh, get started here. Boy, that comes off easy too. Those must be good, good shears. Cause your hair is thick. How's it feel coming off? Good. I've been waiting for a haircut. <laughs> How long have you been waiting, Tyler? Uh, two and a half months. Two and a half months. Very About nice. yeah. What's the longest you let your hair grow before you 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 got it shaved? Five months. About five months. That's only two and a half months. I can't imagine what five months looked like. It was wild. <laughs> did you, did you, not to pick on you, but did you look like a clown? A little bit. Yeah, because it had to be thick and out there. <laughs> nice job. Well, Tyler, we continue to uh, thank you for your participation year after year after year. Um, what, what grade are you in school? Uh, senior. Senior. And do you have any plans after high school? Going to college for finance. All right. And do you know where you're going yet? Uh, not entirely, no. Okay. Do you plan on starting a St. Baldrick's event at your school? I wasn't planning to. I was going to plan to come back here and then maybe later. Okay. So you're going to continue to participate one way or another once you, once you graduate high school and go off to college. Yeah. Great. I don't know. I think we should start leaving some of these. I mean, I, I don't know what we would call this, but I'm sure. Yeah, almost looks like a snowmobile right there. Oh, there goes your snowmobile. Tyler, how much money did you raise this year? 8,300 something. Did you hear that? Tyler just said Team Tyler raised 8300 and something dollars. You know the most important part of that? The something. Congratulations. Great job, Team Tyler. Thank you so much for, for raising so much money year over year over year. Do you know how much you've raised uh, since you started doing this? 20 how much? $70,000. $70, Let's hear it for Tyler. $70,000 raised in the last 12 years. That is impressive. Nice job. Can't thank you enough, Tyler, uh, for, for all you've done to raise money um, to, in the fight against childhood cancer and cancer in general. Uh, again, we can't have a day like this. We can't have people like Tyler out there raising $70,000 without the support of our community members. And our hero sponsor for today is NYCM Insurance. Uh, again, a wonderful community member, um, giving back to their community, allowing people like Tyler to get involved in something at such a young age. And they just keep on giving and giving and giving. Uh, it's wonderful. Appreciate it. Also, our home today, where it all started back in 2005, the pub, uh, again, this doesn't happen without a place to have it. And uh, they were nice enough to open up the doors and allow us to take over the bar for the afternoon so that this could happen and we could still put on an event this year uh, that people could get involved with. So again, thank you to the pub and their staff for hosting us today. 
Uh, couldn't ask for a better venue. And don't forget to check out their new menu. All right, that's it, Tyler. How's it feel today? Great. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's hear it for Tyler. Great job, Tyler. Thank you so much for all you've done. All right. Uh, next, we've got another virtual shave. Um, we heard about this person just a little bit ago as, as they were uh, involved in shaving one of their friends' head. It's a, it's, it's a real partnership they got going on with, with the St. Baldrick's uh, event. And so next up virtually, we have Karen Walters. So Karen, are you all set and ready to go there? All set and ready to go. All right, so Karen's ready. She got to shave her friend Jeanette's head just a little bit ago, and, and now it's Jeanette's turn. So whenever you're ready, be, commence the shaving. Karen, uh, so, so what made you and Jeanette decide to get together and, and start doing this as a, as a team? Is this the first time you've done it as a team? Uh, so this is my eighth year shaving and, um, I've done it every year since the year after I got divorced. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, done it as a team. And so then because I was doing it, I keep pulling different people in from time to time. So this is Jeanette's third time shaving with me just because she did it one okay. time because it was fun. And then she did it for her 50th birthday two years ago. And then again this year. That's great. I uh, appreciate you getting her involved and you guys teaming up to do this together. Uh, it helps make a oh. event a, a little more exciting. What are you asking? Something about making it more exciting. Oh. Coming off pretty good. How's it feel? How's it feel? How's it feel? Well, it's getting there, but still too long. <laughs> okay. Too much of it. <laughs> How long have you been growing it before today? How long have you grown it before today? Uh, I only got it cut once since last year. Really? Somewhere in the summer, I got it cut once. Okay. Well, that's got to be feel great. So Are you also going to make a hat for yourself oh, yeah. tonight, or have Jeanette make you one? <laughs> Yes, Are if you, you had a hat. Have a hat I have hats and hat. scarves and, oh yes, I love to be fancy awesome. about it. Great. Do you know how much money you raised by any chance? Yeah, $1,350 so far. Wow. Let's have a big round of applause. 1300 bucks. That's great. So funny story though, when I went to get a pair of clippers, and, and a cape, we wanted to have the barber's cape. And um, the lady at the beauty place said, when we said we were getting our, we were doing our heads for St. Baldrick, she said, oh, in Norwich? And I'm in Syracuse oh, really? shopping. And I said, yeah, how did you know that? <laughs> she said, why? Well, wow, that's, <laughs> that's awesome, see? Yeah, so I told her to go to the website and donate. And hopefully she did, and I'm sure she did. It's small world out there. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Looks like you're almost done there, Karen. We've got some stragglers here that yeah, I'm trying you did to. Too. Oh, look at that. Jeanette's taking care to make sure it looks good when she's done. Takes a lot of trust to let a friend shave your head. Takes a lot of trust to let a friend shave your head. As much as it takes to put a stranger. All right. Is it all gone? Pretty much. It's got a few touch ups to go. Okay, well. Karen, thank you so much. Uh, you and Jeanette have been a wonderful team. Uh, appreciate the, the nice story about when you went to buy the Clippers and the, the, the 
the barber's cape. Appreciate it. Thank you for all you do. We look forward to seeing you again next year and hopefully in person. All right. That would be great. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Let's hear it for Karen, everybody. Awesome. All right. Well, we're back here live from the uh, St. Baldrick's headquarters at the pub. Uh, we've got a uh, few more shavers to go. Um, at this point, we have one more virtual uh, on our, our docket, and uh, that's going to be Drew Teleski. Let's hear it for Drew. Drew, you there? Yeah. All right. Who's behind you? Who's going to shave your head? My dad. Oh, your dad. He's got some experience at that. Look at his. What's up, DJ Jazzy Brian? Hey. <laughs> All right, Drew. Good job so far. Why'd you decide to do this? I decided to do this because there isn't as there's not very many kids that have it as good as me, and the and lots of kids are dying from cancer. Now I want to do as much as I can to help them. Drew, that's a that's a very adult statement. That's uh, I, I'm really happy to hear you say that. Congratulations. Can you tell everybody how much money you raised, Drew? I've raised $3,512. So Drew Teleski raised $3,512. Let's hear it for Drew. I'm Drew. <laughs> All right, Drew, thank you so much. Uh, now, I, I know you come from a wrestling family and a wrestling background. It's got to be killing you to have all that hair on top of your head. Yeah. What do you say we let Dad have some fun? Yeah. All right. Here we all go. right. Whenever you're ready, Dad. <laughs> there goes some. All right. Now stop, Dad. Just kidding. <laughs> I will, Brian. <laughs> I know you would. <laughs> How's it feel, Drew? Does it feel good coming off finally? Yeah. How long have you been growing your hair, Drew, at this point? I've been growing it out for about three months now. Awesome. It looks like maybe dad shaved the head or two. He, he, he looks like he knows what he's doing. Yeah. And there's no oh, fear in angle here, but I'm, I'm going to manage. Too. Is this your first year, Drew? Yeah. It is. So your yes. first time out, you raised over $3,000. Yeah. Very impressive. Very impressive. Congratulations. Thank you. You're going to do it again next year? Yeah. All right. That's what we want to hear. Uh, do you think you can talk your mom into doing it? Not a chance, Brian. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I'm sure she would raise a lot of money. <laughs> We're trying to get Abigail, but no way. Ah. Uh, well, maybe after she sees how much fun Drew's having doing it. I don't know. We're going to need your help with that, Brian. <laughs> you know, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully, Drew, next year you'll be doing this live in person uh, yeah. with a bunch of people cheering you on all at the same time. We're so proud of what you've done in your first year. Uh, I'm sure next year you'll go even bigger and better than this year. Yeah.
Looks like we're getting down to the end there, Drew. See that? You can sleep in a little longer now every morning. You don't have to get up and do anything with your hair. Yeah. We're pretty much all set there, Drew, man. All right, what do you think there, Matt? We got a finished product? Uh, we'll, we'll, we got a little stragglers here, but I think we're good for the most part. All right, well, hey, Drew, thank looks you better? so much again. What's that? Who looks you better? You look the same. You Come look on, the same, it looks better, right? <laughs> no, I'm going to go with Drew. Oh, jeez. Ha! <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much, Drew. Let's hear it again for Drew Teleski. Over three thousand dollars raised in his first year. Thank you. Bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back live with a live shaver, and uh, it's the man, the myth, the legend. It's uh, it's it's probably the guy that holds all this together and and organizes a lot of this with the help uh, from the people involved. Um, hey, did, did you start there? Are you the co-founder? No. Uh, what year did you get involved first? So the event was organized originally. It was actually brought to Norwich by Steve Cady from uh, Norwich Fire Department. Steve saw the event while bagpiping down towards New York City and brought it up to, to uh, Norwich in 2005. Originally sponsored and supported by the Norwich firefighters, and then they, uh, we ended. Uh, Tracy Chago was running it for several years, and then uh, I took it over from Tracy and been doing it for the last seven years. Great, thank you so much, Jay. Uh, again, it, he's brought, he's he's kept this going. Um, appreciate everything you're doing, and it, they're not even waiting; they're just getting that hair off. Uh, I assume this is going to be your last year helping with this event in Norwich? Be my last year as the event organizer, uh, but I will probably come back. Tyler and I need to shave somewhere together, so uh, this would be the most logical place. Great. We hope you do come back year after year, A, eh? uh, continue to raise money for this wonderful cause, uh, and to continue to be a part of your hometown community. Uh, we know you will. Uh, You've given so much of your, your, your time over the years to worthwhile events, uh, to the community itself, to your profession. So we thank you. This is just one other way you're giving back. Uh, do you know how much money you've raised this year? So Tyler and I raised money together as Team Tyler, and we are over $8,300. Awesome. So Team Tyler continues to grow. Let's hear it for Team Tyler. Would you like to say hi to anybody? Um, I don't know who's watching. <laughs> the world, okay? The world. This is a world Hello, world. Here, <laughs> I don't know who's watching. Just so, in case, eh? Just in case. Hello, Melanie. <laughs> in case she's watching. Um, so this morning, I actually have a story quick. So Tyler and I generally raise about five to $6,000 per year. Uh, as you know, last Monday, I actually started a new job, went into the private sector and we're starting working now for a great company called Rapid Deploy. Uh, we were doing some introductions uh, at the company onboarding the first day and the CEO and was there come on. and they were come out, that, close. Uh, about St. Baldrick's and everything else. And on my first day of work, the CEO of Rapid Deploy uh, donated $2,000 towards Team Tyler for our event. Wow, that's awesome. Let's hear it for Rapid Deploy. <laughs> See, there is a silver lining to A, leaving the Norwich and getting a different job. So we appreciate that. That's a great story, A, and uh, it's, it's always nice to see new partners getting on board and, and opening up their, their hearts and wallets to, to events like this. So I don't pick on anybody's hairline, eh? But I'm gonna say your head shaved very quickly, and there's a reason for that. That's 
Yeah, see, tell Zach that. It do, eventually correct. doesn't grow it back, That's right? That's correct. Yeah. Or in spots. You got to be careful. <laughs> so on top of that, this morning we were, so with that very nice donation, we were over, just over $7,000. And the biggest year we had, uh, we raised $7,300. So I put a plea out on Facebook and other social media for donations. And we raised uh, $1,400 in the last five hours. Wow. That's incredible. Thank you, everybody that opened up their wallets this morning. Let's hear it. Does anybody know how close we are to the $30,000 goal at this point? We are over. We are over. All right. What are we at? Mrs. Treasurer, do you have a number? We are at currently at $34,658.57, exceeding the goal by over $4,000 at this point. Way to go. And it's never too late to keep on giving. Let's see what we can get that up to by the end of the day. In A, it looks like you're all done. How's it feel? All right. Let's hear it for A. Jones. <laughs> all right. We're uh, headed back out to the world of virtual reality here. And uh, uh, our next shaving contestant is a Mr. Ewan Kelly. Is Ewan out there? Okay, I do not see an Ewan. All right, so we'll move on at this point to a, uh, another live contestant in today's event. Um, we have Miss Jess Sheldon. Come on up, Jess. Hi, Jess. Hi, Ryan. Good, how are you? That's awesome. How long have you been growing your hair out for this? Oh, Jess? Lord. Uh, years? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> at uh, five or six, I guess. Five or six years worth of hair. All going bye bye. How's that make you feel? I'm excited. <laughs> You're excited. Is I this got, your first time ever shaving your head? This is my first time ever shaving my head. I brought some hair ties. Uh, you're not going to need hair ties, Jess. You understand that you can't put hair ties when you don't have any I hair. I need them right now to bind it into a couple of different sections so that we can donate it. I'm don actually donating my hair to children with hair loss. Oh, so, that's awesome. So you're taking an extra step. In, an extra uh, step and donating what I've got. So, awesome. I'm not, so not just money, but some hair as well. That's great. Let's hear it for Jess. Do you know how much you happen to raise today, Jeff? Uh, somewhere around thirty-five hundred dollars. Wow! So I'm not exactly sure. All right, let's hear it for Jess. Thirty-five hundred dollars. What the total? What the total is? But um, yeah, uh, we're, I'm pretty excited. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for everything you've done, Jess. So, at this point, Jess and Drew have been going back and forth today oh. over who's the leader. Jess has been the leader for several weeks, but Drew caught up today. 
but right now they are within $43 of each other. Oh. Jess has $3,555.20. Nice. Congratulations, Jess. Thank you. <laughs> so I don't know if you caught that or not, Team Drew, but uh, it's only $40 away from catching Jess at this point. And Team Jess, you don't want her to get caught. No, so Kate. Keep, keep donating, don't be afraid. Once they shave, doesn't mean you have to stop. So it looks like Jess is in like a whole beauty salon type situation here. She's getting the whole braid thing going. I assume you do this so that you can save the hair? Is, is that? Okay, and do you cut it right at the? Okay. Nice. So anybody out there that, that wants to uh, take care of two charitable options at a time, if you have very long hair, not only can you raise money for a great event like St. Baldrick's, uh, but you can also donate your, your hair uh, for people who don't have hair or have lost their hair. Um, it's, called, uh, it's called Children with Hair Loss. And so they actually make wigs specifically for children that have lost their hair. So great. Let's hear it for Jess. All right, so this one this one requires a little more prep than other ones have. But we don't mind waiting because the outcome is very, very positive here. It requires something like two inches of extra. Awesome. Here we go. Jess, are you ready? No turning back now. Actually, it'd be great if you quit after one side. So a little more finesse in this. She's trying to take off about, looks like about 12 or 13 inches of hair. Uh, there it is. Look at that. And that'll be donated uh, to, to make wigs uh, for kids that uh, are suffering from hair loss for one reason or another. Uh, I assume a lot of those are, are due to uh, radiation and chemo and things of that nature. Um, so Jess is doing something great here on both ends. <laughs> Jess, what made you decide to want to do this today? Uh, um, within the last couple of years, um, actually, my, my father had cancer. Um, he's good now. And then a, a bandmate of mine also had cancer, who's also in the clear now. But, uh, you know, my friends and family that have that have coped with cancer, um, we're all adults. And I could only imagine what it was like for a child and or their family, um, you know, to have to cope with it, to have to, to deal with daily life so um it's something that i've wanted to do for years and this was just this was the year so awesome well thank you for getting on board jess uh everybody some there's a lot of different stories out there of why people got involved or how they got involved uh i can tell you in the end all all that matters is you do get involved um so thank you whatever it takes to motivate you to get involved uh we look forward for, for years to come for people to continue to get on board. And uh, 
continue to make this such a huge success. It's got to feel extremely odd. Does it feel I mean, radically different? I've never ever shaved my head, so that means it's interesting. <laughs> Thank you. 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 So what are you going to do with all that spare time you have now that you're not? You're, you're, yeah, you could sleep later. Okay. How about the money you'll save on all those hair care products? Yep, that's right. Start putting it away to donate next year. How's that? Yeah. Well, we'll <laughs> it's almost all gone, Jess. It's very rockish. Oh, now it's gone. No, we're not going to leave anything. <laughs> <laughs> While they're finishing up uh, shaving Jeff's head, or Jess's head, uh, once again, I'd like to thank NYCM Insurance, uh, our hometown hero sponsor today. Uh, appreciate that. Let's hear it for NYCM Insurance. Also like to thank the pub for welcoming St. Baldrick's back to where it started here in Norwich. Share for the pub. <laughs> Did you bring a hat with you, Jess? A two. <laughs> All right. Yeah. See, finally, somebody. You got to have the hat. And it's not to hide it, Jess, because it looks great. It, it's self preservation. Exactly. There you go. That's good advice. We're in the home stretch here. Just trying to capture some of them stragglers. All right, let's hear it for Jess Sheldon.
Thank you, Jess Sheldon. All right, up next, we got another live shavee. Uh, th this guy happens to be a neighbor of mine. Um, so I'm going to get to pick on him for quite a while as I see him walking his dogs down the street. Uh, finally, he, he gets a cool haircut. Uh, next up, next up will be Joe Phelps. All right, here he is, Joe Phelps. Oh, there he goes again. He's, he, he, he couldn't find his mask. It was on his face. Joe Phelps, how are you today, sir? Awesome. How are you? I am doing well. What uh, what made you decide to do this today? Uh, that cute blonde standing there with the phone in her hand is one reason, but the main reason is for the kids. Awesome. That's Absolutely. Best reason ever, right? I've been through a lot of, um, let's see, hospital hallways and in my job that I used to do, and uh, I, I it 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 just tears my heart out. So. The kids need this more than anybody. So it's for the kids. Great. Thank you, Joe, for your participation. Uh, that comes from somebody that's seen it firsthand, folks. Uh, there, there's no such thing as too much when it, when it comes to this. Uh, the more you can give, uh, the more that we can help. So thank you. Joe, is this your first year doing it? Uh, no, this is... My third or fourth year, I think. I don't know. A could probably tell you better than I could. <laughs> I skipped a year or two in there, but um, I, I want to do it. I love doing it. I wished I could grow my hair longer, but it doesn't seem to want to get to a certain point and stop. But, you know, it's it definitely a great cause. Just like the American heart, it's it's an excellent cause, you know. Yep. And, it's, and the kids are more important than than the adults right now as far as the cancer is concerned but you know we have cancer in our family um deb battled it and you know i just like i said i see these kids i love kids as it is and to see them suffer like that it just kills me so do it i'm gonna try to do it every year um i just got to remember to start growing the hair earlier that's all <laughs> i'll end up looking like chago before long Nice. nice. Well, I'm sure he appreciates the shout out. Uh, well, thank you, Joe, again for participating uh, and, and being a multi year participator. Um, you're also part of Team Tyler, right? That's correct. Yeah. Uh, so you're part of that big $8,000 number that they put up today, right? Awesome. Yeah. yeah can can. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank uh, thanks for your continued support and uh, look forward to seeing you again next year.
All right. We're at the finish line here for Joe. That uh, it did not take long. No. Thank God. Uh, I, that part's all skin. You don't really have to shave that. You understand he doesn't grow hair back here, right? <laughs> yeah, really. All right, Joe's all done. Let's hear it for Joe Phelps and Team Tyler. All right, our next contestant, we heard a little bit about earlier. Hey, did you want to talk? on our fundraising so we only need just under two hundred dollars to top thirty five thousand dollars wow so you can uh, donate to the event you can donate to any individual person but we're looking for some people to get online right now stbaldricks.org slash events slash norwich and donate some cash and we can top $35,000 and make this our second biggest year ever, despite everything else going on in the world. Wow, despite everything else going on in the world, we got a chance right now to make this the second biggest St. Baldrick's in Norwich history. Look, it's not going to take much, folks. That's 200 bucks is all we need right now to get over that $35,000 mark. $200. That's 20 people at $10. That's about all the math I know. No, it's two people at a hundred bucks. It's four people at 50 bucks. All right. It's 200 people at a dollar. It doesn't matter how we get there. Let's get to 35,000. Come on, Norwich. You can do this. And to prove you could do it. Next up, we have Peter Davini, who is in his 15th year of shaving his head. And more importantly, got his wife involved in St. Baldrick's. And I will mention that uh, I'm here probably because of Pete as well. Uh, I run another charity event where I get to MC it every couple of years. Uh, and after I did that, Pete came up to me and said, hey, I got a cool event that I'm very involved in. And I was wondering if you'd help us out. How could you say no to an ugly face like this, right? No, it was an easy decision. I know how much that Pete and his family care about this event and all the people behind it. I didn't even have to think about it. As soon as he asked me, I said yes. Unfortunately, that was put on the back burner last year, but uh, this year we got to do it. And uh, I thank you for the opportunity, Pete. Thank you. What do you say? Let's get the hair off the head. All right, Pete. Why did you start with St. Baldrick's? Children's charities. I'm a softie for children's charities. Any children's charities. Great. No better reason. Uh, we've heard it all day long, folks. People get involved in this event for the kids. Uh, I can't think of a better reason for anything. Uh, this one, a little harsher than some, right, Pete? So every dollar helps. Uh, have you seen any of the impacts that St. Baldrick's has had, uh, you know, because of the money raised? Um, we have a, a local family who's 
grandson was diagnosed with cancer a couple years ago and he was treated in Albany, which is a hospital that does benefit from St. Baldrick's. Um, if you have a child that has child, uh, a, a child, children's cancer, they will be treated in a hospital locally that has benefited from St. Baldrick's. Galisano's receives money. Um, like I said, Albany does. I think one in Rochester does as well. So it, donating to this organization impacts us locally as well as globally. Great. Great, Pete. Thanks for sharing that with us. Uh, it must feel pretty good to be part of an organization and kind of be on, you, you've been on board from the get-go for the most part uh, when there was 50 of these nationwide. How does it make you feel to hear that there, there's now over 12,000 of these events nationwide? I think it's fantastic. There's strength in numbers. The more we can do, the more money can be raised and uh, the more research can be done. You hit the nail on the head there, Pete. Thank you. All right. Uh, so Pete's got the same problem up front that a lot of us men have. Uh, the hair comes off real easy um, where there is hair to take off. So we're moving right along here on Pete. And before we know it, he's not going to have anything left. All right, folks, we're keeping an eye on that donation meter. Uh, we're looking for that final $200 to get us over the $35,000 mark. Um, I would like nothing more than announce that by the end of uh, today's event. Pete, do you keep the beard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what did Aaron say? Aaron said, yeah, not so Pete's daughter is very concerned right now that he's going to shave off his beard. He has confirmed he will not be shaving the beard. I repeat, he will not be shaving the beard. <laughs> oh look at that so extra added incentive pete did say he raised 500 dollars one year by shaving it off i think that's probably a goal for next year although his wife seems to be protesting that pretty significantly I think in exchange of him not shaving his beard off, she should cut her hair. But uh, that's just me. I don't want to start any trouble, folks. All right. What do you got? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Pete Davini. Way to go, Pete. Thank you. Okay. Whoa. It, I'm, I, I'm going to tell you that if you step on hair, it's a little slippery. Uh, so we're going to jump back to one of our virtual shavers. Uh, Ewan Kelly uh, is joining us online now to, to shave their head. Uh, we'll get them pulled up here. All right. How you Everybody? feeling, Ewan? Pretty good. All nice right. day. A nice sunny day outside. Is, is that your wife behind you that's about to shave your head? Yep. My wife and my daughter. Oh. Okay, was it her idea not to make a mess in the house, or was that yours? That was hers. My idea. <laughs> All right, yeah. Yeah, because this man, we wouldn't care, right? <laughs> All right, well, let's get at it. All right. Okay. Looks like you got the whole family there. Who, who's joining you there, Ewan? That's my son, Will, and this is Amelia, my daughter. And my wife's name Hi, is Jennifer. Are you guys real proud of dad? 
Will is getting a haircut after this one too, so. <laughs> He's looking like an overgrown cute. Is it your first year or how long have you been participating in St. Baldrick's? Uh, I don't remember exactly, but a lot. <laughs> a lot? Great. Right. Well, we thank you for your... Do you know how much uh, you raised today? I think uh, like 700 bucks or something, somewhere around there. Wow, great. Thank you very much. No problem. Much appreciated. Appreciate you guys hosting this. Your wife got a huge smile on her face. <laughs> she's she's got a she must be so happy that hair is coming off the way she's smiling. Oh well, yeah, it's 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 a little bit like a mullet, you know. <laughs> and <laughs> able how to... long have you been growing it? Since summer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Since yeah. summer. All yeah. right. <laughs> he has beautiful you, hair though. Been hoping for this day for a long time at this point right oh yeah <laughs> we, we wish it could be um a little warmer out though because when he does shave his head he gets really cold oh well do you got a good hat oh yeah i got a lot of them it'll be all right <laughs> there you go that's that's the key to to lack of hair is a good hat <laughs> Wow, that is long. Look at that come off there. <laughs> what uh, what made you decide to start doing this in the first place? Um, well, I uh, my college roommate and his wife they had a niece who actually um, had childhood cancer. She was a sweet little girl, and um, unfortunately, she did not survive. Um, oh. And um, I don't know this. I just kind of became aware of it. This was back when um, the fire department was very involved in this. So um, I just started doing it. Great. Yeah. The, sometimes the motivations, the sad stories. Uh, sorry for your your friend and, and and the child that you know lost their their battle. Um, but thank you for. Uh, taking that and using it as a, as a reason to get involved and keep giving back. So thank you very much. Absolutely. It's not a hardship on my part. That's for sure. You're going to have Amelia do that at all? Yeah, Amelia do that. That is some thick hair. Are you concerned that that will not grow back? <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Here. My grandfather, my my paternal grandfather was like Friar Tuck, so at one point, at some sometime down the line, it's gonna happen. I just know it. He's been bracing for that inevitability. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You don't have to be perfect. Let's Looks like you even got the family pet getting involved there. Yeah, that's Wolfie. Daddy. <laughs> Can I just go down the middle? Yeah, just... Bet you wouldn't see the dog for a long time if you went after it with the shears. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, look, there you go. Getting those bangs out of there. Be a lot is this something you foresee yourself continuing to do year after year? Oh yeah. Right. And uh, what if your kids wanted to get involved at some point in time? What uh, what advice would you give them? Well, we were we've been trying to convince my son to do it. Um, asked my daughter too, but neither one of them was interested so far. <laughs> yeah. I think your wife said your son's getting a haircut after this anyways, right? Yeah, but it You might have to tie him down. Yeah, it's probably not something we want uh, the general public to witness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like he's having a good time right now. Yeah. Just get him when he's not looking, right? Yeah. <laughs> this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Look at that. When she started on the front, that really came off. <laughs> 
thinner. How's it feel? <laughs> Feels pretty good, actually. The sun's pretty nice. Yeah, sun's out today. A little cooler, but sun's nice and out. Yeah. We're almost done here. All right. Looks like she's in the home stretch. She's really got that smile going. She's picked up her pace a little bit too. <laughs> All right. Well, Ewan, thank you so much for uh, continuing to contribute year after year and for staying on board with St. Baldrick's. I don't know if you heard or not, but we're a couple hundred dollars away from raising $35,000. This will be the second most money raised at a Norwich St. Baldrick event in history and wow. what I would deem probably one of the toughest years to try to raise money. And you've been a big part of that. So I thank you very much. And uh, you and your family have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Thank you. Thank you guys you. too. Thanks for putting this on. All right. You got it. Thank you. Bye. Now. Bye. All right. Let's hear for you and Kelly. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, at this point in time, we have completed all our scheduled shavings. Uh, we appreciate everybody that joined us online, everybody that was here in person. Uh, once again, uh, we're, we're going to have some announcements, but I have to, as my job, do a couple of things. And first and foremost, I need to thank NYCM Insurance one more time as the hero sponsor. I also need to thank the pub uh, for letting St. Baldrick's really come home um, and put this event on in, in, in a time that it would have been easy to say, no, can't do it here. Uh, they, they went and allowed it to happen and, and made what I feel is a very successful event. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed yourself. Uh, appreciate the staff of the pub in downtown Norwich and everything they've done. Now, without further ado, I'm going to hand it back over to the man, the myth, the legend, A. Wesley Jones. All right, just a couple things, and we are going to have a final total for you, or a temporary final total, because we know there's actually still money coming in, and you can actually donate after the event. The event stays open for at least a couple months, so you are not obligated to uh, have donations in today. Our final event total will be online and in the next couple months, takes a few weeks for them to uh, send the money. So uh, one thing that we wanna do is recognize um, our League of Heroes. Usually at our event, we bring them up and give them a certificate. This year they got pins with their shirts that they picked up but we recognize people uh, at the three-year mark, that's Squires of Hope. And then at seven years, they join the Knights of the Bald Table. At 10 years, they become Knight Commanders. And then at 15 years, where'd Pete go? What's the title now, sir? Crusader. So uh, let me run through the list really quick. Ashley Gardner. Jacob Fosco and Jeanette Moore, three years, Squires of Hope. Thank you very much. Uh, these are for both volunteers and Chavies or combination thereof. So our next one is seven years, which is they join the prestigious Knights of the Ball Table. Uh, Jamie Mertz Birchall. <laughs> Julie Wentworth. And Rob Couts. So at 10 years, we get Knight Commanders. This year, reaching Knight Commander status is Allie Colantuno and Christopher Barrows. And again, uh, just the second person to reach Commander status, Pete Davini at 15 years.
So again, we want to thank everybody who participated either by donating, participating virtually. Um, he's not on camera, but I would like to thank uh, gentleman Matt Jenny who produced all of this, made it happen. I asked Matt to do this and I don't think he knew what he was getting into, but I knew that he could pull it together and we wanted to make this as professional looking as possible and no doubt that happened today. So thank you, Matt, you did an excellent job. We appreciate it very much. And our final two Shavy virtual Shavies showed up online. So you're back up. Back. Sorry, you're back on the job. Hold on before we get before we leave, we will have a draft final totals and it will be a good number. So hang around. Okay. All right, so stick around. We've got uh, uh, two more virtual Shavies um, on, on, online. Um, and they are I don't want Hello. I don't want me on there. It looks like <laughs> Patricia and Pamela. Do, did I get that correct? Patricia and Pamela are going to be shaving their head and they're from team Women Fighting Cancer and Pamela's the captain of the team. Um so are you are you ready? Yeah. Are you nervous? Yeah, I am. Yes. <laughs> All right. On your mark. Get set. Shave. <laughs> oh, is this right? You want this this short? Huh? All the way. All off. the way. Oh, oh, that's that's coming off nice. So I'll tell you a little bit about me. I did it first in 2015. My daughter had really long hair and she's like, come on, mom, I'm going to do a team. You can join me. So I went ahead and I said, okay, I'll do it. And then um, the time came this year and I'm like, okay, any, I'll do it. And my mom said, like, yes. And now my aunt wants to shave her hair too. So. All right. Give me just a second. We're having a little audio difficulty. Can you hear me now? All right, well, that hair is coming off nicely. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up because I cannot hear you. Ah, perfect. All right. Well, good. It looks like you're having fun. You're both smiling. That's what's important. Yes. And you know, I heard you there. There we go. Now we got some audio. Perfect. How is this your first time shaving your head? No, this is my second. I did it the first time in 2015. Can you hear me? Great. Yep. And now six years later, you're coming back and doing yep. it again. Yep. That's awesome. Thank you so much for uh, participating again. Why'd you disappear for so long? You're not going to wait six years before you do it again, are you? No, every year. Ah, uh, great to hear that. That's what we love is people that want to keep coming back and doing this again and again. And keep helping us raise raise money to to go to fighting childhood cancer. How's it feel? Does it feel pretty good to have that hair off your head? Oh, much. It's been over two months since I've cut my hair, and I usually keep it short, so it's like really long and been driving me nuts. I'm like, you can do it. <laughs> nice. Do you know how much money you raised this year? A little over, um, for the team, a little over 200, but we still got some donations coming in. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. I don't know if you heard, but uh, we're, we're real close to breaking the $35,000 wow. mark of money raised. And it's, when you're done, we're going to announce what the current total is. And uh, I'm hoping that we get some good news. The goal today was $30,000. So it's Thus far, we've exceeded that by quite a bit. 
and you're a big part of that. So thank you for helping out. Thank you for doing this. It's very important. Like the other lady said, if we could start finding cures for children cancer, maybe someday we can do adult. That's awesome. It, 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 it takes everybody, right? Yeah. You got good shears there. They, they, they worked quick. You had a lot of hair on your head. I did. Yeah, not anymore. Good boy now. How's that? All right. Let's have a big round of applause. All right, go lay down. I'll clean it up. There you go. Okay. I'm going to switch spots and my mom can take the chair. All right. Here we go. And here's mom of Team Women Fighting Cancer. Are we uh, you oh, going to start with scissors? And, oh, oh, you're not wasting any time. You go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would do the ponytail. Just chop, chop that right off. Chop from here, you mean? Okay. I don't care. Well, I love it. Uh -oh, that's my whole a lot body, I take care of my mom that's an invalid. So I'm going to spend my time in a garden. It doesn't matter what my hair looks like. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Winter, good cause. I don't know yeah. where you got all this there. That's right. Great cause. Is this the first time you've shaved your head? Yes. Yes. First time. Great. Is it something you think you will do again? Is it something you'll do again? What? Is it something you'll do again? Yes. They're all deaf here. They are hearing yeah, I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. We're I'm deaf. deaf. <laughs> Look at that. How's that feel? Does that feel good to have all that hair off there? Does it feel good to have your hair off? Yes, I'm tired of pulling it up to get it out of my way. I can't stand it in the face. There you go. You won't have to worry about that in about 10 minutes. You'll have nothing to get out of the way. Yeah. Oh, that's coming off nice, right? I've been trying to decide on a haircut for months. Well, you won't this get any gray hair when you're done with us. This is it. <laughs> it's, it's not a choice that most women would make. I, I, I commend you. So can you see your current haircut? Yeah. Can you see your hair cut? I, I can see that. Yeah. I think we should you stop. You can see now. it? Okay. No, you're not gonna stop now. We're okay. about halfway done. Wow. Look at how smooth that is. All right. You know, you've got the honor of being the final haircut of the day for us. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about being the final haircut of the day? Um, I've been last a lot of time. But my sister-in-law, she decided the last minute, so we're going to do her too. This is a big Good. step for her because she's yeah. also an invalid and she has MS, but she wanted to do something to help. Well, thank you again for participating. You're welcome. Let me turn the other way. Oh my goodness, look at that hair. Just say you want me. <laughs> She's stepping in. Huh? I like it like that. Leave that. <laughs> Besides, no, no, no. <laughs> Oh, you look cute. Huh? You look cute. I look cute? You look cute. No. <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> Looks like there's only a couple of swipes left and then it's all gone.
I say she's let me do it because I got the dog likes it. Now, are your dogs going to even know who you are now? Without hair? It's all gone. How's it feel? How's it feel? Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <sighs> Looks great on you. Thank you so much for participating and raising money to help fight childhood cancer. <laughs> oh, we got one more. We got a latecomer, huh? Yes. First time. First time. All right. She's got a lot of hair. Oh, man. That's great to hear. And she has that match. Everybody else was doing it. So uh, want to join right in, huh? Yeah. Yes. All right. Have at it. <laughs> Starting with the ponytail. Goodbye. Do you do that so they can't back out? Once that's cut off, there's kind of no turning back, right? It's all right. It'll grow back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's just a nice or it's a, it's just hair. So is this something you'll continue to do year after year now that you're doing it the first time? Yes, I will. Good. Yep, just that thick hair. Thank you for becoming a part of Team St. Baldrick's. You're welcome. Oh, new scissors. Look at that. Got too much hair. Can you help it? That's all right. Oh, Got those it. ones work good. Yeah. Got oh, yeah. the big nod Good of job. approval Good there. <laughs> You've got some. All the, none of you will have gray hair now. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Goodbye. Oh, what do you think of that? A lot of hair right there. All your ringlets are gone too. They'll come back. Yeah, true. They're all ready, yeah? Yeah. Here it goes. All right, here goes the rest of it. That's quite a few. So Who's got to clean up all that hair when you're done? Is that your job as the person doing the shaving or <laughs> is that, is that yeah. not included in the volunteer duties? <laughs> oh, probably one of us. <laughs> is mama awake? We could do hers. I yeah. told her that earlier. I said, no, I guess we won't do your mama. You'll have hair in your back. Yeah, that's coming off nicely. Oh, they're good clippers. They're what? Good they're good clippers. Yeah. Yeah. And now we'll do your haircut every two months and we'll just shave it every time. <laughs> Is your head cold yet? Yeah. I'll have to have Beck and John come up and look at my head. Let's send them a picture. Okay. <laughs> so now you got the you've got the honor of being the last person to have their cut. Yeah. <laughs> for today's event, and right after you're done, we're gonna announce uh, a new total raised at this point. Sharing a sheet. Don't forget all those out there still watching and those here in person that you could continue to donate throughout the rest of the day. Um, I will. And technically, probably year round if you want to stay involved in St. Paul Drake's. Yeah. So you don't ever have to stop giving. Um, 
go to the St. Baldrick's of Norwich webpage. I was out there earlier. It's a great webpage, a lot of information. Um, so make sure you stay up to date of what's going on. And, and hopefully next year, uh, this will be a huge indoor event, live event. Uh, again, like it used to be, I could tell you, it used to be one of the biggest party nights of the year here in town and, and for a great reason, right? So how are we coming there? It's like we got just about one side left to go. Uh, yeah. We should leave it. No. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it. No. <laughs> no. I, I bet I can tap it off. Well, there you go. She took most of it off at this point. You're just lucky she likes you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oops, did I get your ear? A little bit. Oh, Dan, cut it right off. <laughs> Uh, it's only one ear. You got two. Yes, sir. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's mommy. I know. The dogs aren't going to know us. I know they don't. Yeah, you're going to have to reintroduce yourself to your animals, you know. She's dog won't know me. Almost there. Uh -huh. Looks like just a little bit left. <laughs> All right. Well, ladies, I, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate right. you getting involved. There's all three bald heads at one time. Let's see a group photo there. All right, congratulations, ladies. Thank you so much. We look forward to seeing you again next year. And please stay on the line so you can hear our big announcement uh, in regards to the amount of money raised today. All right.